हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आवर एजुकेशन चैनल इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव अंडरस्टूड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ सेंट्रॉइड एंड सेंटर ऑफ ग्रेविटी अल्सो वी हैव लर्न हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द सेंट्रॉइड फॉर सम प्लेन ज्योमेट्रिकल फिगर्स नाउ इन टूडेज लेक्चर we will discuss the procedure of finding the centroid and center of gravity and we will take one numerical on the centroid of the composite figure so let us discuss the procedure of finding the centroid and center of gravity so your first step is first of all the given composite figure or composite body is placed in the first quadrant so this composite figure consider in the first quadrant so this is our first quadrant so like this the figure touches its extreme left side to the y axis and extreme bottom side to the x axis now second step check whether the section is symmetrical about any x x axis or y y axis then cg will lie on that axis so if you take t section and place in the first quadrant then here we can see this t section is symmetrical to y axis so we'll get x bar directly so this distance will be we can write down directly there is no need to calculate x bar now third step is composite plane figure or composite body split into number of basic figures or basic body so in t section we can divide this t into two parts or two basic figures that is two rectangles 1 and 2 if we have such type of composite figure then we can divide into three parts semicircle then square and then triangle step number 4 find the area of basic figure in case of centroid and find the volume of the basic bodies in the case of cg as the centroid is only applicable to area and center of gravity is only applicable to the volume of the bodies now step number 5 find the coordinates x1 x2 x3 and y1 y2 y3 of the individual basic figure from x and y respectively now in t section we'll find x1 x2 y1 y2 so like this but here it is symmetrical so cis centroid or cg will lie on the y axis so we cannot calculate x bar as it will get directly then step number 6 use the following formula for calculating x bar and y bar here we have already calculated area for the centroid so we'll use formula for x bar equal to a1 x1 plus a2 x2 plus a3 x3 upon a1 plus a2 plus a3 similarly y bar a1 y1 plus a2 y2 plus a3 y3 upon summation of three areas a1 plus a2 plus a3 for cg we will calculate volume so the formula for the cg we will use x bar equal to a1 x1 plus a2 x2 plus a3 x3 upon y v1 plus v2 plus v3 so here area here is volume similarly y bar a1 y1 plus a2 y2 plus a3 y3 
and v1 plus v2 plus v3 and the last step that is 7 if any area from the entire plane or any volume from the entire solid body is removed it is treated as a negative while finding the centroid or CG so in this figure this semicircle is removed from the rectangle so we will minus this area from the area of rectangle so by using this seven step we can easily calculate the centroid and the center of gravity for any composite figure or any composite body so let us try to solve one example on based on the centroid so let us take example find centroid of a t section with a flange 120 by 12 mm square and vertical wave 180 by 18 mm square so let us try to draw the t section with the given dimensions so here the flange is of 120 by 12 so this horizontal is called the flange and wave that is vertical so this dimension is 120 and this 12 for vertical wave height is 180 and width is 18 now our first step is to place this composite figure in the first quadrant so this is x axis and this is y axis now second step is check whether the composite figure is symmetrical to xx or yy axis so here the yy axis can divide this t section into equal two parts so we will get x bar directly so here x bar is 120 by 2 that is 60 so x bar will be 60 now our third step is split the composite figure into parts so let us divide this t in two parts the flange is first part and the vertical wave is second part by dividing this now we will use one for the flange and two for the wave now our fourth step calculate area now we have to calculate centroid so we will calculate area for first part and second part that is a1 a2 so calculate a1 and a2 now both are rectangle so area of rectangle is b into d so for 1 it is 120 by 12 and for the second it is 180 by 18 so it is 120 into 12 that is 1440 mm square and for the second 180 into 18 that is 3240 mm square so as per our second step since the given section is symmetrical section is symmetrical about y axis so 
so x bar equal to this is will be x bar of total figure so 120 divided by 2 that is 60 mm from y axis from y axis now by using formula of y bar we can calculate y bar so y bar equal to a1 y1 plus a2 y2 plus now here only two parts so we will take a1 y1 plus a2 y2 upon a1 plus a2 now calculate y1 and y2 y1 y2 so the first rectangle centroid from x axis and the centroid of the second rectangle from x axis that is will be for y1 y2 now for first rectangle the centroid is here so that means 12 by 2 but its distance from x axis and that is y1 so 180 plus 6 so y1 is 180 plus 12 by 2 and that is 186 mm 186 mm similarly y2 it centroid will be at center that is 90 so here y2 equal to 180 by 2 and that is 90 mm now put this value in the formula of y bar we will get a1 is 1440 into y1 is 186 plus a2 is 3240 into 90 divided by a1 a2 so 1440 plus 3240 by calculating will get 119.54 mm so y bar is 119.54 therefore centroid is at x coordinate is 60 and y is 119.54 mm so 60 x distance 60 and y distance is 119.54 this is 90 so here will be 119.54 so approximately it will here so this 60 and by measuring 119.54 we'll get the centroid of t section here so this is g so you can sh draw the figure again and show its centroid on the figure. So this type of question or numerical ask for the four marks. If you really learn from this video, kindly subscribe our channel, like this video and share with your friends. In next video, we will solve one numerical of L section which is locate the center of L section having the flange 10 mm by 80 mm and wave 10 mm by 120 mm. Keep watching our videos, be with us, stay at home, study at home, safe at home. Thank you very much.